Hi, this is The Business Guy. So what are the personality traits of billionaires? Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Jack Dorsey took personality tests, and here are the three traits that they all share. In his book, Principles, Life, and Work, self-made billionaire Ray Dalio says nearly all great leaders are shapers who share certain key personality traits. As management professors and online columnists have all discovered, nearly everybody loves a good personality test. And these tests can be acts of self-exploration and badges of self-identity. In fact, a few scientifically validated ones can even help you pin down your strengths and weaknesses and set you up for greater success. But the most useful tests are also time-consuming, which is why it would be pretty remarkable if you could get some of the world's busiest and most successful people to sit down and take one. But that's exactly what Ray Dalio has managed for his book, Principles, Life, and Work. And it would also be pretty remarkable, if you appreciate this info, to help me out by clicking the like button below so YouTube promotes this video. Thanks so much. And if you haven't already, you can also click the subscribe button below like thousands of people have already so that when more videos come out like this one, you'll be up to date right away. Apparently, when you're a self-made billionaire, you have some pretty impressive names in your cell phone contacts list. So when Dalio wanted to know what made some of the world's greatest innovators tick, he whipped out his phone and called Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Twitter founder Jack Dorsey, and Netflix's Reed Hastings and asked them to take some time out from building rockets, fighting climate change, and creating binge-worthy shows to take an in-depth personality assessment. More amazingly, they all agreed. Okay, so what makes a shaper? As Dalio explains in his book, his effort to dig into what personality traits path-breaking entrepreneurs share stemmed from his retirement from Bridgewater, the hedge fund he founded. Without Dalio at the helm, the firm has lost momentum. Dalio chalked this up to a lack of a particular personality type among top employees, one that he describes as shapers. Quote, a shaper is someone who comes up with unique and valuable visions and builds them out beautifully, typically over the doubts and opposition of others, Dalio writes. So how do you find and hire more of these extremely valuable trailblazers? Dalio, who is already a big fan of personality assessments and who has used them at Bridgewater, had an inspiration. What if you could convince some of the best examples of shapers he knew, the likes of Musk and Gates, to submit to a personality test? Now, clearly Dalio is a persuasive guy because according to his book, all of these business icons agreed. And when Dalio analyzed their results, a clear pattern emerged. Shapers like Musk, Gates, Dorsey, and Hastings all share a handful of key personality traits. First of all, they're determined to the point of obnoxiousness. At times, shapers' extreme determination to achieve their goals can make them appear abrasive or inconsiderate, which was reflected in their test results. Nothing ever is good enough, and they experience the gap between what is and what could be as both a tragedy and a source of unending motivation, Dalio writes. Now, this doesn't mean that shapers are uncaring. Musk has spoken movingly about his determination to be of service to humanity, while Gates has donated a huge portion of his fortune to charity. It just means that on a day-to-day -day level, they're happy to break a few eggs to make an omelet even if those metaphorical eggs are the spirits of underperforming employees. Quote, in speaking with him and reviewing the questions that led to these ratings, this became clear. When faced with a choice between achieving their goals or pleasing or not disappointing others, they would choose achieving their goal every time. End quote, Delio continues. Second, they're intensely curious. Musk reported, quote, Truth matters to me a lot. Really, pathologically, it matters to me, end quote. Apparently, he's not the only shaper who feels an intense compulsion to understand the world deeply and clearly. Dalio says, quote, I found that shapers tend to share attributes such as intense curiosity and a compulsive need to make sense of things. Perhaps even more importantly, they can hold conflicting thoughts simultaneously, look at them from different angles. They typically love to knock things around with other people, really smart people, end quote. Now get this, when these conversations and investigations reveal that their prior beliefs are wrong or incomplete, shapers are not too proud to update their thinking. Dalio claims, quote, they have very strong mental maps of how things should be done. 
and at the same time a willingness to test those mental maps in the world of reality and change the way they do things to make them work better." End quote. Finally, they toggle between vision and details. Now, you may expect that shapers are dreamers who come up with a big vision and leave the execution of the day-to-day -day details to others, but that's not what Dalio found. Instead, he says shapers have an obsessive interest in both the broad goal and the nitty-gritty of executing it. Quote, they have a wider range of vision than most people, either because they have that vision themselves or because they know how to get it from others who can see what they can't, claims Dalio. But shapers are also able to see both big pictures and granular details and levels in between and synthesize the perspectives they gain at those different levels, whereas most people just see one or the other. As an example, Musk, in that same recent interview, says that after all of his time in the Tesla factories, quote, I can tell you how every damn part in that car is made. Shapers visualize goals, set plans in place, and push through relentlessly to make them happen. Typically, shapers dream big and unconventionally and have the determination and personal accountability to push through the obstacles in their way. Their creativity and independent style drives them to the edge of rebelliousness and sometimes pushes them over it. They think if they can clearly visualize a goal, they can achieve it. That is within their complete control to succeed or fail. They're able to maintain conflicting thoughts simultaneously and evaluate them from different perspectives, navigating between the big picture and the granular details. They're comfortable taking the lead and demanding high levels of performance from those who follow them. Another distinguishing characteristic is their ability to inspire people to get behind their vision. They relish having fierce debates with other equally strong-willed thinkers. And get this, they have no problem telling people what they really think, good, bad, and ugly. They make sure their vision perseveres over the doubts and oppositions of others. And one big thing is they are generally less interested in getting involved in people's feelings and emotions and may not go out of their way to help and support those people, but rather expect them to take care of their own needs. Their tenacious, uncompromising, and single-minded focus may lead them to neglect some of their personal relationships. They can make sure that people don't react negatively to their unrelenting passion and drive for their vision by learning how to communicate and engaging with people who are wired differently than them. Now, here are some shaper talents creating and achieving their vision and goal, developing mental maps of how things can and should be done, holding others accountable to high standards, shifting priorities and plans to accommodate changing demands, having big, lasting impact on the things that are important to them. Now, here are the shaper growth needs, sensitivity to other people's feelings and needs, showing appreciation for other people's contributions, practicing patience and being in the present moment, and giving space to others instead of micromanaging. Now, are you a shaper? If you're curious, if you share these traits with the famous shapers Dalio mentions, you don't have to wonder. Dalio teamed up with Wharton professor Adam Grant to create an assessment that can tell you which archetypes most closely align with your own personality. The Principles You, that's Principles Y-O-U assessment, consists of a long series of statements such as, I stay calm under pressure, I am sensitive to others' emotions, with which you can agree or disagree. Now expect to spend half an hour or more answering all of these questions. And keep in mind that all that time really pays off and you'll wind up with a robust, wide-ranging profile and it will include your archetype or a few archetypes since most of us have more than one. Now, mine came out strong shaper, also adventurer and inspirer. It will also look at how you think, how you interact with others, how you take on challenges, and how you tend to act in various situations, such as you went under pressure or meeting somebody for the first time. It also takes a close look at your leadership style and skills as well. In fact, I'll put a link in the description so you can take the assessment yourself for free. But only after you click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with others. See you next time. This is the business guy.